Hello, my TMA friends. It's Miss Cindy, your drama specialist, and I'm coming to you from my bedroom in my home. Um, strangely, my bedroom is painted lavender or periwinkle blue, and it is considered one of the best colors to have as a backdrop for videos. And I don't do videos, so this is it, you guys, just for you. Lucky, lucky you. Um, I wanted to give you some activities to do at home. We're going to go through some readings of folk tales, and I'm going to do guided reading. Those are going to be individual videos for you to choose from. Everything that we do here is going to be a creative dramatics-based activity um, or an acting-based activity that are appropriate for anyone ages 3 all the way up to our 11 and 12-year-olds in 6th grade. So some of you know me, some of you don't, and this is an interesting way to get to know me. Um, but we are excited um, to bring you some different kind of activities to maybe do at home and I hope that you will take advantage of them. I wanted to give you a resource for um, kid-friendly musicals. So a lot of our families are not Disney specific and because part of our curriculum in the elementary side is to um, to work on musicals, um, I wanted to make sure that y'all had an opportunity to watch some things. And um, the website broadwaymusicalhome.com has a whole page of family-friendly and kid-friendly musicals. Um, things that you would know about, some things that maybe you wouldn't, some very old ones like the Rodgers and Hammerstein Standard, Sound of Music, Oklahoma, The Music Man, those kinds of things. Um, there are also some new wins and depending upon your um, language tolerance etc and um, they may not be appropriate for your family but um, Adam's family 13 um, they even listed uh, Dear Evan Hansen as potential for kids maybe for our 11 and 12 year olds but perhaps not for the younger ones so um, look over that list and see Shrek is on there which is DreamWorks which is really fun um, the um, um, I almost said Snoopy, but that is not right. You're a good man, Charlie Brown, is on that list. And um, some of these would be things that they might have heard music from in my class or perhaps even um, sung some things from these musicals. So um, look over those. I encourage you to really look and see uh, what the content is in those musicals to make sure that it is appropriate for your kiddo and your family. Um, definitely will give you some things to think about and to talk about one way or another but just make sure that you do your homework um, i'm going to be starting off with a series of folk tales from the caribbean and i will be doing those in individual videos for you and um thinking about you guys really missing my kiddos so hi to all my kids in extension in ec2 and all of my kiddos in elementary side i am thinking about you really really sad about our musical this year um specifically for my sixth levels you know who you are and um We'll be doing some of the songs as well in individual videos. So um, I hope that you're still practicing. I hope that you're still working on it. And I would love to see posted on the TMA Facebook family group some videos of you practicing. Anya, thank you. You've already put it out there. So way to go you. Anybody else who wants to show me singing your solo or an entire song or doing your choreography, I would love to see it. And I promise you that I will comment on it for you. All right. I'll be seeing you soon. Keep looking at my YouTube channel for more content. Thanks.